Hi, I'm Marnie. Here I am at the PCC Boone Gallery, and this is my show, Twisted Refrain. The title, Twisted Refrain, reflects my philosophy of making art. It's a moment where you can pause and feel a sublime, sort of uncanny wave that might come over you, much like when you're falling asleep or waking up. The space between two worlds. When you walk through the space, you'll realize that it's happy, sad, scary, and my history was in performance art for many years. I started in the early 80s in the heyday of performance art in Los Angeles. I would dress up in costume and in character and do many multimedia performances with film, music, and props and stage sets. This here is a farmer clown. He's a friend of mine that's been around for quite some time. He's been to several shows with me and performances, and he likes to just sort of oversee the whole show to make sure everybody's in line and, and keeping um, together. Here's my collage of witches. I make my own masks and then photograph them and then paint the background paper and then glue the printouts onto it and so it's a large scale collage. I've performed as a witch several times and I've been in my movies as a witch and for me the birth of all of this work is from witchcraft. I feel like I create pieces in character from my days of performance, I always try to think of myself as creating even flat works in character. And I also have a short narrative with each show. In this case, I felt that the witches were conjuring up the little girls to create the works. And you'll see some of the collages have little girls in pajamas wearing masks. So a lot of it comes from the idea of incubus channeling through your dreams while you're sleeping. So when I create my collages, um, this is actually me in costume and then wearing a mask and a wig, and this is actually a mask on top of a mask. And this piece is inspired by a lot of the theme in the whole show, which is Americana, the Depression era, as seen through a child who has gone to the country fair. And for me, growing up in a small town in Connecticut, it was the first time the world opened up was when we went to the country fair in, on the Village Green. And so I thought it would be nice to do a piece along the lines of a fictitious feeling in America where these characters travel through and um, interact with beings from the underworld, or perhaps present time where all the different realities are collapsing into one reality. Here's Farm Fresh Granny, and I performed as Granny many, many times over the 25 years of performing, and so a lot of my masks end up in my sculptures. And she's collected her eggs and her milk, and now she's just going to hang around. Here's the comforting clown. As you can see, the little girl's having a nightmare and he's comforting her, but perhaps he isn't. When you turn the plate this way, which it was probably originally meant to be viewed, he's coming up behind her when she's in bed, but this way it looks like he's grabbing her. I have a real keen interest in clowns because I grew up from with depression era parents and they tell stories of the hobos coming around town and asking for food and handouts. And so I was inspired by Red Skelton for my clown genre because he did a hobo clown where he would come on screen and empty out his pockets and look like he was really poor. 
and I would always say, poor him, poor him. And so I like the idea of the hobo clown trying to bring some joy and life and humor to a very tragic and sad situation of the time of the Depression era. So you'll see a lot of the collages hold that feeling of the Depression era, and I think it's because as a child of Depression era parents, it's something that you can never really shake. It becomes part of your journey. And this is me. Sometimes I like to perform as a clown. The last time I did a musical show, I dressed up as this character, and that's my face and body. And so you see I like to bring the characters inside of myself. This is the corn goddess, and you see behind me is a scarecrow. I make a tremendous number of scarecrows. I really like anything that is a stand-in or a representation for a human being. And scarecrows are especially attractive to me because they stand around in the field pretty much doing nothing all day. And I think that spirits may enter them and rest there for a while. That's sort of why I make a lot of these stand-up sculptures, just in case there's a spirit floating around and they need some place to land. This here's the picnic pig and her friend on the back side. I really like crafts. I like everything about Americana and craft making. To me, making crafts is a symbol of hope. And you can see a lot of this stuff is things that you would get at a craft store and I use a lot of found objects because I feel like mining found objects represents what you would find in America. This is the dollhouse. You can see from the backside that there's been a terrible storm and this turkey might have been the cause of it. I like putting together sculptures almost like pieces of poetry where you combine different metaphorical elements. She looks sad, perhaps because you don't really know what's going on inside. And then the hay bale represents the country and farming. This is the bat that hangs upside down, representing the nightmares and nocturnal dreams. He spins also, and then up at the top he has a church, bats from the belfry. I'm very much interested in aging from little girlhood to the old crone. Here we have a collage, three young maidens in their pajamas, and here we have four witches conjuring. I always feel like in the underworld, the witches speak through dreams into the little girls, and then the little girls create their work and their reality and their crafts. Nature features really heavily in my work, the seasons, the spirits that reside in nature. I like to see things that aren't really there. When I'm looking out into the world, I kind of imagine different things, like you get some moths that are human, plants come alive, leaves have faces. Everything is really imbued in a spirit.
This is the whip of the scary evil clown. He always looks a little bit mean to me, like he's got some inner issues. And he likes to come to the shows just to create an edge. <laughs>